Hi there, Pastor. My name is Jason Dahl, and we have never officially met, but I know about you, and more importantly, I know about Kichai United Methodist Church. Why? Because in 2005, my family lived in Kichai, and we attended Kichai United Methodist Church. See, I was the police chief there, and Kichai, it was our home. And we unfortunately had to move several years ago, and we have missed Kichai so much. But even more so, we have really missed Kichai United Methodist Church. I still keep in touch with Pastor Guy Rindoff regularly, and many of the members of the church there, Ken Scott, Elisa Ballou, John Cammy. I, 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 I think of Kichai United Methodist Church so often, and my family, we really, really miss the church. The reason I'm sending you this video instead of this big, long, boring letter for you to read through is that I believe face-to-face -face contact is so much more personable. And although I cannot sit down and talk with you face-to-face, -face, I'm hoping that this will do in the interim. So the reason I'm reaching out to you is I wanted to tell you a little bit about myself. Seven years ago, I started this little silly ministry because I was writing a few books. And I started connecting with a pastor in Kenya in the slums of a city called Nakuru. I started seven years ago and this will be my fifth year that I have gone over personally and spent a couple weeks there. I, I always go by myself. Uh, I started going and didn't know uh, that Kenya was really going to change my life. And we're in the slums. We are in some of the poorest areas in Nakuru, Kenya. And uh, you know, I, I have really built myself into the culture there, constantly in contact with them and visiting with them. And these people are truly amazing people. And you know, when I go, uh, thanks to the generosity of so many people, I've been able to take shoes. I, I've, I've donated over 400 brand new shoes to kids, clothing, uh, food, Bibles, teaching supplies, women's supplies, blankets, mats, uh, and the list just goes on. We have been able to do so much in the time that I, I've been there. And some of my favorite things is, since I'm in the slums, is going door to door and, and, and talking to people in their homes, on the street corners, and, and preaching to them about Jesus, the love of Jesus. And I've seen so many people that have given their lives to Christ for the first time. And we baptize people, really connecting with people and showing them the love of Jesus. And I absolutely love it. And this year, I, I'm, I'm God willing, I'm gonna be going back in August and you know, I'm hoping to take shoes and, and food and some of the things I normally do. But this year, God really spoke to me. And I knew I was supposed to build a well for clean water. There's a video that I'm gonna send to you uh, to show you what my game plan is uh, there in Kenya. But it's to build a well so people can have clean water because people that don't have running water are literally walking sometimes miles to dirty rivers to get water. And God has moved in some amazing ways. And currently, I, I am so close to meeting that goal. A well costs over $16,000 and right now, we only need $4,500 to reach our goal. Then we can provide clean water to so many people. The well is more than just providing clean water. I want to use it as a source because where we're going to pit it right next to our school and church is an opportunity for us to go out and to talk to people about Jesus and to bring people to Christ. And not only that, but I am hoping to be able to buy hundreds of nets and Bibles. Let me tell you, we cannot keep enough Bibles. Every time we buy Bibles, they are gone within literally minutes to people that just hunger for the Word of God. And so what I'm reaching out to you is this. Would Carlisle United Methodist Church be willing and interested in partnering with me in one of three things? Would the church be interested in helping sponsor the remaining amount on this well? The wells cost over $16,000 and God has been moving and now we only need $4,500 to complete this well and bring clean water to the children there in Kenya. Maybe the church doesn't want to do all 4,500 or maybe you want to do all 4,500. That's up to you. The other thing I'm looking at buying when I'm there is mosquito nets. Malaria is killing thousands of Kenyans every year. And this year, I want to be able to provide 200 to 300 nets. And nets are costing about $10 a piece when I'm there. 
So please consider, and also Bibles. I'm wanting to be able to provide Bibles, which are also $10. So please think about this and pray about this. Please pray about it. If you'd be interested in talking to the congregation about helping donate some money for the well and for the nets or Bibles, it would be such a huge blessing. And it would come from people in the church that I truly care about and love. I will do a couple things if your church is interested. A, I will make a personal video showing you and your church what exactly we're going to do with the money, whether it be for the well, the nets, or the Bibles. And then when we're there, when I'm there, I will bring the people that it's literally affecting and we will make a thank you video for the members of your church. Hey, I understand, times are tough. And if your church is unable, if you guys are unable, I just ask you two things. Number one, if you do know a church that would be willing to help sponsor us or help in any way, that you would be, that you would let me know so maybe I can reach out to them or if you would be willing to reach out. But more importantly, please, please ask the people of your church to pray for me, to pray for King and to pray for this mission. We are so close to being able to build a well for clean water. And I, I, God is just driving this malaria mission to help eradicate that and provide nets and of course Bibles. So please, if you would, just pray about it. Just, just pray about that, think about it, and talk with your church. If you have a desire and an interest, it would be such a blessing to so many people. I'm calling it Operation Hope, the work that I do in Kenya, because it does bring hope. It brings the hope of Jesus to so many people, and you and your church could be a part of it. And if you're unable to, just the prayers alone, I know God is moving, and I hope that he can move through you. Take some time, consider it, and if you're willing, please let me know. I really appreciate it, and I hope that on my next visit back to Kichai, that we will have the opportunity to meet. Until then, know that I am praying for you. I am praying for Kichai. I am praying for Kichai United Methodist Church. And I still have a heart back there at the church. Please extend my love to so many of the wonderful people that are. I'm thinking of you guys and I'm praying for you. Hey, God isn't done. We are going to see some amazing and wonderful things coming in 2020. I just can't wait to see. God bless you, my friend. I love you. Take care. Bye. <laughs>